Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals a negative 2 over x squared minus 4, and we want to find all the points of relative minimum and maxima. Well, we need to find the derivative of this function, and I like to actually rewrite this to look like this, negative 2 times x squared minus 4 to negative 1 power. And I like to write that from just, that's how I like to write uh, the function to make the derivative. Just easier for me. You don't have to. But f prime of x we need to find anyway. Power rule, chain rule going on. Negative 2 here is up front. Negative 1 comes down. Inside stays the same. x squared minus 4. Subtract the exponent by 1. Negative 2 now. And then in the inside derivative is just a 2x. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. We have f prime of x here. Negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2, times 2x is a 4x, over our denominator. And we have a x squared minus 4, which is now the positive 2 power when we bring that down to the denominator. OK? So what I'm going to do now is set my numerator and denominator to equal 0 here. And we're going to find those critical points. So I said 4x equals 0, and a x squared minus 4, all squared, equals 0. As we saw, we'll divide both sides by 4, and x equals 0 here. Square root both sides, well, we do that, squeaky here, we just have an x squared minus 4 equals square root of 0 is just 0. Add 4 to both sides, x squared equals a positive 4. Square root that to both sides. And x equals a uh, square root of 4 is 2, and we have po positive and negative, so a negative 2 and a positive 2 there. So we have our three critical points here, and we need to use our first derivative test with them. So we're going to make a little chart here that my marker holds out strong. We have a negative 2, 0, and a positive 2 right there. Okay? Now, doing the first derivative test, we want to plug values, we're plugging them into our derivative right there, okay? So I found a value less than negative 2, and I picked negative 3, so I found f prime of negative 3, and that came out to be a negative 0 0.48. I just care that it's negative, and therefore my function is decreasing there. Now, between negative 2 and 0, I picked 1, so f prime of a negative 1 comes out to be a negative 0 0.4 repeating. And it's just negative, so we're decreasing on that interval. Between 0 and 2, I picked 1, so f prime of 1. And that came out to be a positive 0 0.4 repeating. I just care that it's positive, and therefore we are increasing on the interval. Now from 2 to positive infinity, I picked 3 on the interval, so f prime of 3, and that came out to be a positive 0 0.48. It's positive, that's what I care about, and so we're increasing here. Now this one's a little tricky. Notice we're going decreasing, then decreasing, so we don't have a relative min or max at negative 2. It's only when we switch. From decreasing to Increasing, though, we go from decreasing to increasing, we have a relative minimum there. And then we keep going from increasing to increasing, there's no relative min or max there. So there's only one point where we're changing here. So we have a relative minimum at 0 is the x value. And so the y value, we plug it into our original function, and it came out to be a 1 half. And for our relative maximum, we don't have any. So we have no relative max. So our final answer here is we have a relative minimum at 0, comma, negative 1, oh, sorry, 0, comma, 1 half, the coordinate point, And we have no relative maximum. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.